Okay, so I'm going to do a video on the update with Leticia Collins. And um, so she has been making videos, but I've said before, she does a lot, a lot of videos daily. So I just kind of held off. Um, she was getting close to the due date. And basically with Leticia, it's just the same thing over and over. She talks about, you know, uh, what happened, um, you know, with Jason, about this baby, you know, uh, being conceived, you know, the same song and dance over and over. So that's why I really haven't um, done much uncovering uh, her. So she, she was arrested. Okay, she was arrested, uh, I believe, yesterday. Um, they sh she had a video out of the police knocking on her. Um, it was just a very short video that she put out of the police knocking on her window on her vehicle. I guess they ran her plate and seeing that she had a warrant. Now, she is in Illinois. Uh, her warrant is in Wisconsin, but, um, you know, she is, a, you know, a couple hundred miles away, maybe close to 500, I'm not sure. She made sure that she took, you know, she took off and she was far enough away um, from where this warrant is, but the police, you know, they, they were very nice. You can hear them talking to her and trying to get her to come out of the vehicle. And she is asking them basically, or they, they told her, you know, we got a situation here, you know, you need to come out of the vehicle. And, uh, when we ran your license, you know, some things came up and they told her, you know, that there's a warrant and she had to come down and She's like, I'm going to have to come down there for the warrant. And they said yes. And she's refusing to get out of the vehicle. And so she's like, you know, they put me in, in jail when I was seven months pregnant. And they're going to do it again. I'm nine months pregnant. I can give birth any day. She says the due date is December 4th. Um, not December. I'm sorry. September 4th. She says she conceived December 4th. Again, we don't know who the father of this child is. She was with several men around the same time. Um, but she's still claiming it is the Jason uh, that she put the R charges on. And the video cuts out. She, she stops the video. It's, you know, only a couple minutes long. And she is refusing to get out of the vehicle okay they ask her if she'll get out and she says no very defiant um so at this point in time um a lot of people you know i i noticed that they're they're relieved because it's getting really close to the due date and she is saying that she is not going to the hospital to have this baby um, that, she, you know, she's going to have this baby in the car. Now, I'm thinking to myself, no, she when it comes time, she's going to go to the hospital. But, you know, this is what she's putting out there. Um, you know, she's, she's not going to go to the hospital. And when she has the baby, now she's not threatening the baby anymore. She's still calling them, you know, kind of some really horrible names, but she does it here and there, but she's not threatening the baby's life anymore. Uh, she's not saying that she's going to leave him in the woods or she's going to, you know, snap his neck or she's going to make sure that she leaves Jason, you know, uh, a bloody mess. I mean, she says some awful things that she's going to do to this unborn child uh, before he's born and after he's born. The videos are all out there um, of what she's going to do. So, 
but what she says, she she always keeps saying now, um, after she went into the hospital, after her attempt, after she took those pills, is she's not keeping the baby. She's not going to do that because she has nothing for this baby. She she has a few, uh, few clothing items and that's it. She has no diapers, no, you know, no nothing. She's, and she made it clear she's not going to nurse this baby at all. Because um, in her mind, nursing and feeding a child a, an organic diet, that makes you a great mother. That makes you a great mom if you do those things. And yes, those are awesome things to do. But in her eyes, that that just makes you a great mom. Forget anything else. Forget, you know, um, being stable mentally, being stable financially, uh, being stable, you know, to be able to give love. Forget any of that, okay? As long as you can nurse and give them an organic diet, that that's all a child needs. So... She um, says that this baby, she's not keeping it, no way. And I guess, I don't know if this is fact, but I guess that Jason and I, I don't know if there's others are going to be taking a DNA test. Now, I would just assume that Jason would because she filed the R charges on him and he filed charges on her for falsifying um, our charges, those that has stuck because there's a warrant out for her arrest. Uh, there's enough evidence, I guess, um, that she filed that it's you know false, and we see all that out there, um, even you know with the way she talks. But we've seen the text. I mean, common sense, and I I don't take let let me let me uh, say this. I do not you know, take it lightly when somebody says they've been ard or essayed, you know, any of that, you know, you, you want to believe anybody that says that, right? Um, because why would anybody make something like that up? But there are some people that do. They, there are. And it's clear, it's pretty clear that she did because he did not want a relationship with her. It's all out there. You can tell by the text messages and even by how she talks. She still wants him. This was a one night stand. Okay. And basically she is saying a one night stand. Uh, uh, no, one night stand shouldn't happen. You know, if you're not, if you're not there for me, I, I don't do one night stands. If you're not there for me and want a relationship with me, no, that, that's our, that's our, and, you know, um, and a baby was, was, uh, made out of this. And if you don't want a relationship with me and I, I'm, I'm pregnant now, no, 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 that's, that's our, and she's made it clear that she kept trying to contact him after this encounter. And, you know, he realized that, uh-uh, you know, something is not right with her. And he even in the text messages, you know, it showed where he said, what do you want from me? You know, um, we're not going to meet up again. This is before she found out she was pregnant. We're not going to meet up with again because I, you know, basically I can't handle you. Um, and she put a relationship question mark, question mark. Now I've said that before she wanted a relationship and he turned her down. So she kept blowing him up and she gave him an ultimatum either, you know, you have a relationship with me, you contact me, quit ignoring me, or I'm going to go and file our charges on you, even though she says it happened unconsensually while she was sleeping the first time all right and I've said this before in my other videos and that was not consensual that's not when she got pregnant but the next morning 
she always says she detaches. She detached from what happened the night before. So the next morning she detached and she says, and she said it many times, she wanted to get her some, you know. So she asked him, can we have sex? She was horny. Now this is supposed to be the man that violated her and art her the night before. But she wanted to get her pleasure the next morning. And so she asked him to have sex. And that's when she got pregnant with this baby was the next morning. So we're not gonna go through that all again. So I'm sorry, I've never heard of that in my life of somebody that got R'd and then turned around a few hours later and asked their uh, person that assaulted them, hey, can we um, have consensual sex so I can get some pleasure? And then all the text messages afterwards and then also how she kept saying, you know, I, I want him to be here with me and he needs to be part of my life and this child's life and and on and on and on. So for those that are supporting her and saying, yes, you you know, we believe you that you are art and, you know, he should be in prison or he should step up again. Why would you want your person that attacked you or did this to you be a part of your life and your child's life? She still wanted it, you know, him to be in her life. She stated that all the way up until, you know, she got arrested. Um, and she, we're not even going to go, I mean, you can listen to my other videos of why, uh, you know, uh, she had a warrant out for her. There was a protective order against her. She, she already got arrested once. And then she went to court and she would have been fine in the clear, whatever, um, until I, I'm not sure when the court date was or whatever. I'm not going to go back through all that, but um, there was a court date, I, I believe, and she decided to basically contact him in an indirect way on social media. I've already went through that on, you know, my videos. She just does not play by the rules. So anyways, she was arrested and she was booked in. And while she was in jail, she went into labor. So Leticia, Leticia, sorry, almost said her name wrong. Uh, she did have a, a baby boy today and um, she showed videos of her and her baby and she is nursing the baby now this entire time she has been saying well that after she quit saying that she was going to harm this baby uh, she said she was not going to put this baby up for adoption she was going to put it into the foster care system I don't think she understands how the foster care system works but she is totally against adoption. She would rather this baby be in the foster care system until they opt out, until he opts out at the age of 18. Um, she would rather that happen than a loving family adopt the baby, okay? She doesn't want that. She thinks that's absurd when people would mention that. That's crazy talk. Everybody's insane. Um, that this baby deserves no better than to live in a foster home or in a foster center. That's all he deserves because nobody cares about her. It's always me, me, me. Nobody cares about her. So nobody should care about this baby. And this baby doesn't have a father and this father didn't give to her. So, you know, screw the baby. That's basically what she is saying. Um, so anyways, she's told, like I said, she's totally against the adoption. She has been. She wants them. She's like, I'm just going to drop them off. I'm having them in the car. And, you know, 
because she does not want to get arrested again. And I, I'm going to drop him off at a fire station, you know, or, or somewhere. But when she, uh, like I said, a lot of people were like relieved when they seen that she was getting arrested because they're like, maybe they will keep her this time. Um, because her due date is so close. Maybe that was the plan. Maybe they are going to keep her now until she has this baby. And at least this baby is going to be safe now. And also Leticia. You know, because there can be some complications during childbirth. So now both of them are going to be safe because she's in the car. She's still heavily smoking uh, pot all through this pregnancy. Um, so she's going to be safe. And she she does put herself into some dangerous situations because she, uh, I think she's still getting her pot you know, off the street from strangers. I can't be certain of that, but um, I do believe she is. So anyways, um, she has the baby and now she changes her mind, okay? She seems very happy. Um, she is nursing the baby. He is a cutie pie. He really is. And my heart breaks for her too. It, it does. But I'm also thinking about, you know, she is trying to put, in my opinion, an innocent man in prison who was in the military. I know that being in the military does not give a free pass if he was guilty. But I've said before, I think she was searching out who could be the best father for this child. Now, could he be the father? Could be. He is one of maybe, I think it's four or five already. I'm not sure. I know at least four she slept with in December that she put out there. And I know that there was at least one, maybe even two in November. And then um, I think Valentine's Day or in February, there was another one. So we don't know. She said her due date was December 4th. I still think that uh, in November... Um, could be the father of this child. That is just my opinion. Uh, the baby weighed um, seven and a half pounds. He was a good size. He did not come early. So, you know, um, what I was saying before, you know, sometimes I, I do uh, get ahead of myself. I talk in circles. I apologize. Since she did, um, since Jason is coming back and putting charges on her and she's saying this is his baby i do believe that um he will absolutely have a dna test done on this baby because she is also you know slandering him big time now does that mean um does that mean he would want to raise this child if it's his i don't know he may or he may sign over rights i i have no idea um, but I am sure that there will be a DNA test done to, to at least rule him out. I do not think she knows the other men. Uh, she says the first name of the other one, she says, are her two days before Jason, but I don't think she knows his last name. And I don't think she knows the other one, um, cause she met him all off, off the dating site bumble i don't think she would know where to find them or what their names are so if it's not uh jason's then i have no idea but anyways she now decides that no i i think i want to keep him after she has him and a lot of times that that happens after you give birth you know uh, and people told her this might happen and she's like nope this baby doesn't belong to me it has no father it, you know, don't want nothing to do with it. But, um, you know, a lot of that could have just been, you know, acting anger because we, we know that Leticia thinks everybody owes her everything. They should pay for her housing, her food, even though she does get a disability check. Um, they should pay for her, her pot. Everybody should pay for her pot, the government or her viewers, or even this Jason, because she says he's the father of this baby. 
he should be paying for her pot because that's her 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 medicine. Um, she was on pharmaceuticals before for her mental health, and she refuses to take them. And in my opinion, I'll save that for the end. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But she is she seems very happy with the baby right now. And she is like, not, you know, I don't know what to do with him, but, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't know if they're going to let me keep him. And, you know, people are, she's still got a lot of support. Um, but how are you going to keep this newborn baby in a vehicle? Um, and people are telling her, you know, that are supporting her, are telling her, well, the hospital will give you a car seat. And she's even having people saying, we'll let you stay with us. I mean, you have a lot of people that are actually believing her story, even though the proof has been put out there pretty much that there was no R that happened. Okay. Um, there wasn't any. And it's pretty clear that, I mean, she's already been kicked out of homeless shelters because of her allegations um, against other people. She makes allegations against everybody. So you have to be really careful. I said that before in my videos, you got to be really careful around her, either male or female. She makes allegations. So she, she you got to be careful, but a lot of people feel really bad for her. And, and I, I get it. She does have mental health issues and she's very smart. So anyways, um, she does another video and she's upset and she's crying. Um, they came in and they took the baby and took it to the nursery. And she is saying that they said CPS will be there in an hour and um, to talk to her. And she's like, I can't believe this. I can't believe, you know, why would they do this? Uh, they'll pay somebody else. And, and this really floored me. This is her way of thinking. They'll pay somebody else to take care of my child, but they won't pay me to take care of my child. See, she thinks that, and she talks about suing everybody, the government, uh, the police, everybody. Everybody owes her. She thinks that, you know, why would they, they pay foster care? Again, she, she thinks foster care. She's not thinking about adoption. Um, why would they pay someone else to take care of my child, but they won't pay the birth mom to take care of my child? Now, she's on disability for mental issues. She's made it clear that she worked before. She'll say, and I've said this before in my videos, she only uses that I got mental disabilities when it's convenient for her. She's smarter than anybody else. She went to private school, um, if, or not, yeah, private school. If you went to public school, you're no good. Um, her childhood was so bad, but she went to private school. Um, and, you know, people asked her about a job and she's like, <laughs> really? No. I'm not going to work for this job. I'm not going to work for this baby. Why should I? I mean, clearly, physically, and she says that she's worked before. She's held down, you know, two jobs and went to college. But she said, no way in hell is she working because the government owes her. Everybody owes her. So she's like, why should I work for this baby? No way in hell am I working for this baby. I'm not going to work for housing. I'm not going to work for this child. I shouldn't have to. She's made that clear that she is not going to work for anything. She's had nine months to prepare to, for this child um, if she wanted to keep him or prepare to try to give him a loving home um, or to reach out to other people. But she's been living in her car for two years. She has made that choice. She stayed with her mother. I've talked about that before. She couldn't get along at her mom's house. And I know that she, uh, just from her sister coming out, 
and speaking that there has been trauma in that family. Their family dynamic has not been the greatest. So, you know, you can only blame, though, I'm sorry, you can only blame childhood traumas so much on, on how you are as an adult. I mean, you have to be willing to get that counseling. I do get it. Trust me, I get it. I've been there. But you have to be willing to work. And, and some people, you know, willing to work to get past it. But some people might not be able to because of their mental health. And if they can't because of their mental health, then that's when they need more treatment and she might need the inpatient treatment she's already said she's been inpatient many times or pharmaceuticals which she refuses to take now she's still waiting as we speak right now um i don't know how soon i'll upload this video she is still waiting to hear she's really upset because it's been over an hour see everybody has to work on leticia's schedule um, it's been over an hour and they have not been back to talk to her about what's going to happen. I, I think in her mind, she thinks they're going to let her walk out that door. Now, this baby's already got THC in him because she, well, she said the pediatrician came in and said the baby looks fine and everything. Uh, just cut back on the pot smoking while you're nursing. That's basically what she said the pediatrician said to her. Um, I don't think that's all the pediatrician would have said because she is a very heavy pot smoker. She goes ballistic if she does not have her pot, okay? Um, she has to have it. So I don't know if that played a role in it. Um, if also the videos, um, I know people have been contacting, you know, probably contacting and saying, hey, she has been threatening to harm this baby even after he's born. Um, I don't know her mindset. Um, she seems very loving to him in the hospital, but the way that she's very, um, you know, her mood, the way it switches, uh, she'll be giggly, happy, and then just, uh, spit and venom the next minute uh and they also know she's under the influence you know heavily under the influence not just smoking uh a little bit of pot here and there to calm her nerves she has to have it or she is very spiteful they already know just uh, a month ago that she tried to uh harm herself by taking those pills and she's living in her vehicle. So if they let her walk out of that hospital with this baby living in a vehicle, then I have lost all hope for humanity because they have left her leave so many times from the hospital with hospital stays, knowing she had a warrant out for her arrest, knowing that she, you know, she took pills and tried to hurt herself, being pregnant, and they just put her back out on the street, knowing that what she has been saying in these videos, and they just released her back out on the street. So we will see what happens here. Um, like I said, I, I do feel for her, I, I, the tears. She just gave birth, okay? Her hormones are going nuts. I feel for her because she does have mental health issues. And I do believe that she needs, if she could be on the right dose of medication, that all these thoughts and these conspiracy uh, theory things going on in her head would not be horrible. And, and I know she's terrible, terribly against pharmaceuticals, but sometimes it takes adjusting the right medication to think clearly and I do believe with the right counselor not the one that she was seeing okay the therapist that she was seeing because I'm sorry but in my opinion uh, he was a bit 
you know, Looney himself, because he is the one that, that would uh, put some of these ideas in her head, in my opinion. He was old school and he was older and he did. He put some of this, this stuff in her head. That's just my opinion. But if she had the right therapist and maybe the right kind of medication, not medication to make, because we know some medication just makes you feel like a zombie or makes you feel so, so icky. And that's why a lot of people don't want to take the medication. And if she had the right support system, right, right group therapy, that maybe, maybe she can function better. Maybe she can get back out in the workforce because physically she's absolutely okay to work. She's smart. She's very smart. She has worked before. She's got a college education. Okay. So she can, she can work and she would be able to work even being on disability. You can make so much and still get your disability check. So she might be able to raise this baby that, you know, they try to keep the baby with their birth parent. There might be a plan here, but as of right now, in my opinion, she is a danger to this child. We all know if you followed this, this case, we all know what she, what they said she did to her daughter, sat in the daughter's, uh, crib on fire or her daughter wasn't in the crib but she wanted to harm herself when she was with her first husband and she told him that you know they were in the house and she set the crib on fire she pushed her daughter when her daughter was you know really young um and she would call her her husband at work continuously you know come home come home i can't i can't handle taking care of her when he would be working and she was supposed to be at home, you know, being the housewife. And that's why, she, you know, she was taking medication to try to deal with stuff. But in my opinion, they didn't have her on the right medication. And so that's probably why she stopped taking the medication is because they didn't treat her right. They, you know had her on something that was making her feel, you know, funky. Um, maybe she couldn't function. And that's why they, um, they try to find that therapeutic medication to make you feel better. And I do believe that she's not a lost cause. Um, if they can get her the right treatment and say, hey, these are the steps to get your child, to get your child back. And maybe just get visitation back with your daughter. It's been six years. She has not taken the steps that she could have taken to get visitation back with her daughter. But she doesn't want to listen to anybody because she says we're all deranged. And when I say we all, viewers or whatever, we're deranged, we're stupid, we need mental help, okay? But there's steps that could be taken. And the first one is to take care of her own mental health. And I got it. Pharmaceuticals might not be the way you want to go, but sometimes with that chemical imbalance, it is needed. So, you know, that's what she needs to see, in my opinion. She needs to see what is going to work. And, and sometimes just pot is not going to do it. And it's clear pot is not doing it for her. Sometimes when she smokes, she seems to be worse, okay? So it's clear that that's not doing the trick. And you do have some people that just feel completely awful for her. Like I said, I feel bad for her. I, I do, but only to a certain degree. She's trying to put an innocent man in prison. That's not normal. So... You have people that actually believe her and, you know, they're sending her money. And what is she doing with the money? She's buying more pot. That's what she's doing. 
And instead of putting it back, like I said, she gets a check every month. Plus, she's get, she's monetized on our channel. So she does get some money from, from YouTube as well every month. She's not putting any of that back. And she also said that, uh, I don't know, they might her vehicle might be up for repo. She says she was able to make the payment until she got pregnant. What is she doing with her disability check every month? Because she has no bills that she's paying. I don't know. But like I said, I do believe that she is treatable. You know, that she can make these steps to be in her children's lives, both of them, and make the right steps to, to get a place. And she's got some income coming in. And then when she gets mentally, you know, the mentally stable, you know, the clarity, stop, you know, come to terms that you were not ard, you were rejected. She needs to come with the, you know, come to terms with that. And that might be a hard one um, to come to terms with. She was rejected. It was a one night stand. But I do believe that people need to be very careful around Leticia right now. Absolutely. Now, she has, she also has an issue with authority, with the government. I mean, conspiracy theories in her mind. Now, I think a lot of that is part of the mental, uh, mental health issues that she has that can be worked on with the right therapist, with maybe the right medication, if she's willing to do it. She says she's not, that, you know, this baby's not worth it. Um, it she should think about herself, okay? Um, she's worth it, but it's gonna be all up to her. Now, a good uh, channel to really watch some of the videos and commentary will be Original Al because she really did a good job of like with the text messages and um, going over all the, the details to really point out to show how this is definitely, I mean, you can make your own mind up, but this is not an R case, okay? And she does a wonderful job on it. And uh, she has kept, you know, everybody updated. Um, I have watched uh, some of her videos just recently, found her, somebody made a comment uh, in my comment section about her uh, back when I first started, but I just haven't had a chance to watch her video until, you know, recently, but she is really good about um, doing commentary, and she's just good overall. Uh, on the She's upbeat, and she really talks a lot about, uh, you know, everything uh, with the text messages and all that stuff, stuff that, you know, I haven't done so um and she keeps up with you know the court dates and stuff like that but anyways this is gonna you know just be a short update um i will do another one um uh, i'll wait and kind of you know just kind of see right now she's in the hospital um i guess she has another court court excuse me court date uh, they let her out of jail. She's not going back to jail after having this baby. Um, she has a court date in de, uh, September. Um, so they she doesn't have to go back to the uh, to jail. They let her out. Uh, kind of amazing, huh? I mean, this is a felony charge that she has on her. And a lot of people thought that she was going to, you know, she went into labor she would go have the baby and after the baby she would be taken back to jail but according to Leticia um, no that's not the case now we'll see we'll see 
But uh, you don't see any, normally if you're going to go back to jail and you're an inmate, they'll have a police officer in the room. And I don't think they would allow her on social media either. So I don't think she is lying about that, but they, they let her go. But we have to, you know, remember that where this warrant was, you know, it's hundreds of miles away. So anyways, um, baby looks healthy. Um, he's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. Now, I changed my thumbnail a little bit. I only got the tip of his head on my thumbnail because I'm not going to uh, put his picture on there um i know our original al um she does on her community post she does she does have his picture uh on her community post and of course leticia on her videos you can you can see him because she's got him on her lives but i'm just not gonna put uh you know someone else's child on my thumbnail i just won't do that but i do have you know just a little tip of his little fuzzy hair um, he's absolutely adorable and I am so happy that he was born in the hospital and I'm happy that both of them are safe, uh, and that she did not have them in the car and we will just see what happens. I mean, this, this has just been nuts all the way around how they just, you know, kept letting her out, but you know, it is what it is. I guess sometimes your hands are tied. So we'll just see how this goes and we'll just catch you again on the next one.